Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a review of my most recent read, which is The Alice Network by Kate Quinn. So The Alice Network is a historical fiction and Kate Quinn does historical fictions incredibly well. It's not a genre I was really into before I started reading hers and now I can't put them down. She has a few that are absolutely incredible and you should definitely check them out if you haven't already. So to get into a little background of the book, we'll start with the information that's in the front cover. So 1947, in the chaotic aftermath of World War II, American college girl Charlie St. Clair is pregnant, unmarried, and on the verge of being thrown out of her very proper family. She's also nursing a desperate hope that her beloved cousin Rose, who disappeared in Nazi-occupied France during the war, might still be alive. So when Charlie's parents banish her to Europe to have her little problem taken care of, Charlie breaks free and heads to London, determined to find out what happened to the cousin she loves like a sister. Then it says 1915, a year into the Great War, Eve Gardner burns to join the fight against the Germans and unexpectedly gets her chance when she's recruited to work as a spy. Sent into enemy-occupied France, she's trained by the mesmerizing Lily, codenamed Alice, the Queen of Spies, who manages a vast network of secret agents right under the enemy's nose. Thirty years later, haunted by the betrayal that ultimately tore apart the Alice network, Eve spends her days drunk and secluded in her crumbling London house. That is, until a young American barges in uttering a name Eve hasn't heard in decades and launches them both on a mission to find the truth, no matter where it leads. So after reading the synopsis, you can tell that this story is a split timeline. We're switching between Charlie St. Clair after the war and Eve, who is partaking in the war. And without giving away any details, it's not the ending that you would expect, but it is an incredible book. I would highly recommend that you give this one a try. So in this split timeline, we're following Charlie's search for her cousin. And for some reason or another, she seeks out Eve. And Eve is a little hard to get to know at the beginning of the story. And you're kind of wondering, why does Charlie keep trying? And eventually they go on this adventure together and the story just continues to develop and you learn more about Eve and why she is the way that she is. And you will absolutely love their friendship, banter, um, lots of other words that you could use to describe them and the way that they interact with each other. So surprisingly, I felt like this story was a little bit slow to start, which I wasn't expecting. It's absolutely a needed slow start because you're learning about Charlie and her background and what makes her think the way that she does and kind of gives a background of why she's on this search for her missing cousin. And then it really picks up when you meet Eve. And Eve is one of those characters that you can't get enough of, but you also can't stand her. And I mean, as soon as you meet her, you're thinking, who is this insane woman? What made her this way? And why does Charlie keep trying? So even though I say it was a little bit slow to start, Kate Quinn develops the characters in such a way that you're attached to them, you want to know more about your sto their stories, and then she absolutely destroys your heart with their plot. And I could not put it down, especially in the last quarter of the book. Everything is coming together. You want to know what's going to happen next. You want to know where this story is going. And it is not what you expect. It is such a beautiful ending, but it's not what you're anticipating through the entire book. And I loved that. I've already touched a little bit on Kate Quinn's writing style and how she develops the characters in a way that you love them and hate them and want to know what's happening next. But I also really want to compliment the facts and 
research she brings into her characters and the story. She cut in the end of the book, she puts information about her research and she explains the creative liberties she took and things that might not be perfectly accurate, but she does also explain to you real people from history that she's based these characters on and their experiences and where she may have added some things for the story's um, well-being. But I love that she puts that and I always find it extremely interesting because you fall in love with these characters and their, and their stories and then you find out that so much of this is real and I just feel like it brings the book even more to life and I just love that she does that. And it's not so historical that it's hard to read. She makes it interesting and fun, but I do also feel like I'm getting something from these books and these stories that she writes. And you read about strong women characters that weren't really written about previously, and she does it so, so well. Okay. So an overall rating of The Alice Network. I would give this 4.5 out of 5 stars. And I'm a tough critic, so 4.5 is really good. And I would say that I gave it such a good review because the ending was just not what I expected. You're reading the whole thing thinking you know what's going to happen or what you're wanting to happen. She gives you pieces of that. Not going to spoil the ending, but... It's just not what you're expecting. Like I said, I could not stop flipping the pages in the last quarter. I had to know what was going to happen. There, I cried. There were funny moments. It was just such a good way to end this book and to keep you on your toes throughout the entire thing. And then readability. This is a super easy read. Like I said, it's not overly historical where you feel bored or like you're reading a history lesson. It's an easy read that also does give you a little more information um, and is for the most part historically accurate. Um, and you'll fall in love with the characters. Super, super easy read. And for the length, this book is about 500 pages. And I didn't read for hours and hours each day. I kind of um, piecemeal mine and I read a couple of chapters each night or, you know, maybe a few hours on the weekend. And I finished this book in a week. Um, and there were never really any dull spots besides at the very beginning. But like I said, it was necessary to get to know Charlie and understand her, her background, her family. Um, and then after that, it really, really starts to pick up and I couldn't wait to read more. And that's the book that we all want, right? Um, and then finally, Page Turner, absolutely. Like I said, last quarter of the book, I was reading as fast as I could. I mean, like skimming and then having to go back because I needed to know what was happening to the characters but then I didn't want to miss what was happening to the characters, so I needed to reread, make sure I got it all, and I love a book that keeps you on your toes till the very last page, and this one does that. I mean, it is the last two pages, and you just, you have to know. You need to know what is happening to these characters. Um, Kate Quinn has developed their stories through the entire book and she brings you right to the last two pages before she gives you their ending. Couldn't speak more highly of this. It was such a good book. You all should check it out. And again, thank you so much for coming to this book review. I'll link my Goodreads down below so you can see what I am currently reading and I'll see you for the next one. Bye!